behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. To really building something great, really becoming great, really becoming what it is you see yourself being. To be the best version of you requires boldly attacking the things that scare you. When you feel lost, you breathe life into its potentiality. The hidden inside us is the most dangerous, but when you invite it to the surface and face it, then it becomes a weapon. It is time for you to show up. It is time for you to show up. And there will be obstacles that you must face. And for each obstacle that will represent something about you, your greatest victories, your greatest failures, but nevertheless, you must rise above it and you must conquer every obstacle that comes your way. Are you strong enough? Are you willing enough to you have what it takes to do what's necessary to adapt and overcome? So what are you fighting and calling to get to the next level? Let me tell you something. If you're a person out there buying, trying to buy your way to the top, I want to let you know something king and queen. You can't buy a legacy. This you must earn. See the big dogs. They won't give you the opportunity. You're going to have to take. You got gifts. You got talents. You got capabilities. You got inventions. You got all of these things that you need to unleash on the world. You don't have money. You may not have the financial resources, but don't allow your visions and ideas to be stifled because of what's in your bank account or not. And something inside of you made you say, but even though I grew up in this situation, I'm still going to work and be a better man or a woman. I'm still going to do whatever I have to do to break the cycle. I'm still going to decide that I love myself enough to do better, bigger, and more significant things. What separates us is transformation. The possibility of change. The desire to evolve. The passion to get up off the ground and stop eating dirt. I'm, I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm going to throw it behind me. We're going to be lions you know when the lion is injured, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds, and he keeps walking with the time has come for you to succeed, for you to believe. For you to stand tall, for you to understand that you've got it mission and your mission is not done yet today, is that day and when and if tomorrow comes for you. Be even more powerful, be stronger than you've ever been. Rectifying yourself, believe in yourself, keep that faith in yourself, don't let the outside interference. Stop your growth, don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back. Don't let the losses keep you down because if you're down, how would you understand what it means to get up? Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. So I deliberately, when I wake up in the morning, I'm grateful. I say I'm great and grateful. I'm still here. There are a lot of people that didn't wake up this morning. They're taking a dirt nap. Not neglecting, first of all, the small daily discipline. Self-confidence really comes from feeling good about yourself. And one of the best ways to feel good about yourself is at the end of the day to know that you poured it on. You did your best. If you conducted a meeting, you did the best you could. If you made a phone call, it was the best phone call you could possibly make. If you wrote a letter, it wasn't a casual letter. It was your best letter. At the end of those kind of days, when you feel good about yourself, self-confidence starts to rise. You know that if you can have this kind of a good day, you can have another one the next day. And those days become the weeks, the weeks become the months, and the month becomes a powerful year. Self-confidence comes from the lack of neglect. If you will not neglect to do the small daily disciplines, that's where self-confidence comes from. Part of good health is self-confidence. I know I'm going to be healthy. I take the Herbalife products. I eat the apple a day. I walk around the block. I do the jogging on the beach. At the end of the day, when you've really poured it on and you've done all the stuff, self-confidence grows. That self-confidence affects your health, it affects your future, it affects your psyche. So this is true. One of the great powers is self-confidence. Self-confidence means 
willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve. What is good about being miserable resurrect yourself from the pit of darkness because misery doesn't have the right to control your life, your mind, your abilities. Your faith within yourself is all that you need. The steps that you take in your life, it's a process within itself. It won't be easy, but you don't deserve easy. Easy is not something that you should be looking for. Embrace all of the challenges that are necessary, but you continue to fight for it. You continue to believe in yourself when the rest of the world says no to you. You say yes to yourself. You say yes, I believe. You say yes, I can do it. You say yes. Nothing can stop me. But I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Sometimes we bring pain on ourselves. We make poor choices, get in a relationship we know is not good, or maybe get over our head in our spending. Now it's painful. We're having to deal with the consequences. Don't allow a moment of agony to make you draw a conclusion about life prematurely. Because if you just keep on walking with God, God has a way of making everything all right. You gotta shut off your computer. You gotta sit down and you gotta be with yourself and God and let it speak through you purely, become a hollow reed, unobstructed by the opinions, positive and negative, of other people. Nobody can stop you but you. You know I had a goal of playing in India, and I got there. You guys know I had a goal of doubling my NBA income, and I got there. If you set a goal and you make the intention that you're going to get there, do you know that you writing it down and looking at it every single day, you're seven times more likely to achieve that goal? Everything I ever did, the thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. Or no. Imagine, you go from studio executive to studio executive, from agent to agent, from manager to manager, and they all said exactly the same thing. Now that's very encouraging, isn't it? But you know something? I didn't give a sh Let it be known within you, cause no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on around you, you are responsible for what you think within you. Your mind does matter. And if you put the wrong things inside of your mind, the best things won't come out, the best of you won't show up because you allowed everything around you to destroy you, to destroy your dreams, and your dreams are limitless. They never die, there's going to be a lot of things swimming beneath your feet. There's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna to try to drag you down, but you're not in the business to drown, you in the business to live, do not starve yourself. From the beauty of life, you must have the ability. To nourish your mind, you must have the ability to nourish your soul. Are you ready to succeed? Are you prepared to move forward? Make it count, be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.